you hadn't really stepped out in faith until somebody called you crazy. When you really step out in faith, somebody's going to say you're silly, you're crazy. Something's wrong with you mentally. But you're stepping out with crazy faith. Why? Because your God is much bigger than you are. I can make big steps and leaps out in faith because I serve a big God and his ways are above my ways and his thoughts are above my thoughts, even as far as the heavens are above the earth. So are God's ways above my ways and his thoughts above my thoughts. And now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that I can even ask, think, or imagine. My mind cannot contain what God wants to do for me in my life. So until I have the resilience to dream past, I want you to do this, hashtag this, dream past your no. Dream past your no. Somebody's going to give you a no, dream past your no. When they say no, dream past it. When they say no, keep having faith past the no. When they say you can't do it, work even harder, strive even harder, dream even bigger, after you know, you have to keep going after you hear no. I also tell this to somebody who right now who, who feels like money is their problem, money is their issue, that they don't have enough money. Well, baby, if you have enough money to fund your vision, you'll never get any more. That's all the money you'll ever need. Whatever you have right now, if you don't have a vision that is bigger than the money that you have right now, you, ne you don't need any more money. Because your money is adequate to your small vision. Why do you need any more money? You're out there saying, I, I need to win the lottery. I need a million dollars. Why? Because your vision is not sufficient enough to sustain the amount of money that you're asking for. Your vision ought to always exceed your money. Let me say that again. Your vision ought to always exceed your money. I'm talking about even spiritual ventures. I'm talking about impersonal ventures. You ought to have a, a, a dream. You ought to have a plan. You ought to have a vision that far out exceeds what you have right now. I'm not saying spend more than you have. That's different. I'm saying your vision for what you see yourself doing, for what you see, how you see yourself in God, ought to far outlast and extend far past what you have in your pocket, what you have in your bank account right now. And if it doesn't, it's time to dream bigger. It's time to get a bigger vision. It's time to see yourself a little more clearly the way God sees you because God has big plans for you. Hashtag that God has big plans for me. Raise your hand and accept that word. I'm accepting it myself. God has big plans for me.